Okay, so we're all here for real-time visibility using the client statement cache to troubleshoot open edge performance issues, right? Everybody's in the right room? Okay, nobody's getting up and rushing out. We're gonna talk about three main things here. Uh, what's the user doing at any given moment in time? Uh, how do you set up the client statement cache? And what is the impact of using the client statement cache? So it's three distinct topics that we're gonna, gonna go through here. So we'll start with what is that user doing? Have you ever been happy or on your tropical islands, swinging in your hammock, not worrying about anything that's happening in your production database, everything's great? How many people set their, their usual job description? <laughs> cool. So for the rest of you, you've probably spent a lot of time wondering, as you're having problems with your system, what code is running when a user calls up in, or you notice that you have a session with very high activity. What's that, what code is driving that? That's, that's really what you need to know so that you can go back to development and say, hey, this is where you need to make some changes. Or you have a connection that doesn't seem to want to stop for some reason. It's just going and going and going. Or maybe you have some users that are in idle transactions and the DI file is growing and growing and growing. You're wondering, how did they get there? What are they doing? Um, you know, what, what code is, is driving this little problem? Uh, maybe you've seen the infamous user XYZ has record lock one, uh, rec ID one two three locked, and you can't proceed. You need to know where is that record lock coming from. It doesn't really help you a lot to try to call the user because they're not going to answer their phone, and they don't know what code they're running anyway. Uh, or even just knowing what the typical utilization is with your system. What what programs are usually running? What's normal to see uh, within your system? There's this cool feature. It's called the Client Statement Cache. It was introduced in OpenEdge 10.1c, which was in 2008, 16 years ago. So it's been around for a long time. It's a, it's a relatively uh, old feature. And what it does is it keeps track of the statement that most recently accessed the database. So it doesn't tell you what a non-database statement might be running is. But most of the things that cause problems are database statements. So those are the ones you typically need to know about. Uh, for 4GL clients, you get the procedure name and the line number. It's the debug listing line number. So you have to have debug listings to, to get to the right line. It's not the source line number, but it's with all the preprocessor stuff uh, expanded. Uh, for SQL clients, you get the, uh, the SQL statement. So if you, you know, somebody's got to select blah, 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 usually goes on about this long, you get that whole thing. Uh, you get, it works for both local and remote clients. So it's not restricted to just shared memory or, or client server connections. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> the results are stored in the database. So you can query them or look them up through Promon or something like that. So you don't have to go find a log file somewhere in some mysterious place that's never <laughs> anything you can remember.